What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm quite excited to talk to you about this one. This one floored me at how good it actually was and how well it replicates vintage formula of Diorome Intense. It's from Paris Corner. It's in their Pandora Sense line. This is called Camaro Ohm Intense. So we're going to dive into this one. Stay tuned. So before we get into the review, this was sent out to me by the good folks at Aroma Concepts. They do distribute for Cadlage as well as Paris Corner. So obviously it has no bearings and absolutely nothing to do with how I think and feel about the fragrance. But I wanted to let you guys know that if you're interested, you can always check it out with a 10% off code down in the description below. Let's talk about the fragrance. So let's take a quick look at the box. As you can see, it has a kind of inspired look to... How the Dior Roman Intense box looks. It says all the information that you need on the front. Pandora Sense on the top. A little bit of info on the bottom. There's manufacturer dates. Batch code information. All that good stuff. And some more random info on the back. But I mean, it's just a basic box. In regards to this bottle. So not a direct copy of the Dior Own bottle. But honestly, if you take the cap away... And just kind of look at the bottle. It kind of looks almost like the shape and design to the 75 ml Dior Homme Parfum bottle. Just a little bit. Not exactly the same. Name of the fragrance on the front. Everything's printed very well. You have a sticker with some info on the bottom. Nothing special with this cap. It's, you know, it's plastic, but it's not too cheap. It's, it's decent. And you have a pretty good atomizer that puts out just enough. Whew, man, but that waxy iris. Let's talk about this scent. So the only reason I'm not spraying my skin is I have a haul video to do after I finish recording this. So we're going to give some sprays on the test strip. I just wore this one yesterday as well. I think it was yesterday. It might have been day before, but man. So this reminds me so much more of the 2007 formula, which I have smelled in the past. It's been a long time, but it gave me all the feelings and brought me right back to when I smelled it. And with this one, like I said, super waxy. That lipstick makeup bag smell that the Dior Online was known for. Super powdery, very lipstick makeup smell. So those of you that love that about the Dior Online, they nailed it here. The quality smells very similar to what I expect from Dior. God, it's so good. So there's some sage, there's some lavender and stuff like that. Kind of brightens up the opening. I don't get any of the bergamot that's supposedly listed. I don't get any citrus here. But I do get a soft leather. I don't get a ton of sweetness. It's not real vanilla heavy. Uh, it does have that ambrette musky tone, and it's very woodsy. It's it's mainly the iris, a little bit of aromatics here at the top, leather and woods. That's really the most simplistic way I can put it of what I get from this. It doesn't drastically change aside from getting more woodsy and a little bit more of the leather accord as it dries. I don't really get any patchouli. If anything, it adds a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's not like an earthy green type of patchouli. And even though vanilla is not listed, I do get a little bit of vanillic sweetness. But the thing here is versus the formula, I have a big bottle of, of Dior Homme Intense, which was the it's a 2019 bottle, but I forgot what year they... So you have those seven formula, then you have the formula I have, and then 2020 is supposedly the same as the formula I have, but that's much sweeter than this. The leather and the woods are more dominant in this version, which is why I relate it more to vintage 2007 formula of Dior Homme Intense. I think this is a phenomenal clone. This is one of the best smelling clone fragrances I've ever put my nose on. I mean, easily, hands down. It's, it's so good, guys. And the reason it's easy to rave about this one is I'm a huge fan of the Dior Homme DNA, the old Dior Homme DNA, all of its iterations before it became a woody fragrance. Dior Homme 2020. Now, we still have Dior Homme Intense, we still have Dior Homme Parfum and newer versions, I understand that, but I'm a guy that loves classic Dior Homme, Dior Homme O, oh, Dior Homme Intense, obviously. Big, big fan of this scent profile, and honestly, this is more enjoyable for me than my five ounce bottle of Dior Homme Intense because, like I said, I have a different formula from what they're replicating here. The formula I have is the newest, more sweet, vanillic heavy 
type of version of Dior Homme Intense, whereas this is not heavy on the le leather. It's not the kind of leather you would expect from the Parfum, but it's more woodsy and leathery overall with a little bit of the Ambrette musky tone that the DNA is known to have, even though it's not listed in this note breakdown. I still smell it, and it's just so powdery. It's a fantasy iris note, but it's just... It's done to perfection. I think they did an amazing job. This is hands down my favorite fragrance I have ever smelled from Paris Corner. Now, in regards to performance, there's nothing to be desired. I don't need more from it. I, when I wore it uh, the other day, I sprayed it four times around my neck and I could smell myself for hours without effortlessly smelling myself. The sea eyes on this is so strong. Um, this actually outperforms my Diorum Intense that I have. My Diorum Intense lasts forever, but it doesn't have the sea eyes that this one has. This one's a little bit more stout, but it doesn't have the nuclear longevity that my bottle of Diorum Intense has. That will go forever and ever and ever until you wash it off. It's just not really strong coming off the skin after about two hours, whereas this, three, four, five hours in, the sea eyes are still pretty strong. I would say it's easily in the 10 to 12 hour range. It's it's definitely a beast, beastly fragrance. I'm not going to sit here and shortchange it because there's nothing to shortchange. There's, like I said, nothing is left to be desired with the performance on this fragrance. 10 to 12 hours longevity is what I've been clocking it at, falling anywhere in that range, more so in that like 11, 12 hour mark before I take a shower uh, with all the testing I've been doing on it. And then the projection is on the heavy side. I would say moderate to heavy for about two solid hours before it starts to settle into the sillage which is actually on the moderate to heavy side. So I say this is a straight up beast. You don't need a lot of sprays. I have not sprayed this more than four times. I do not need to spray this more than four times. This has been a really strong fragrance on my skin. This is impressive. From, from uh, Aroma Concepts, this is a $34 fragrance before the 10% off code. It's a straight up cheapie before even getting, which, the, you know, it's not a huge discount, but a discount's a discount. But you know, low $30 range for this is a straight up steal in my opinion because the performance is everything everybody would want because most people, at least my viewers, want strong performance, long lasting, loud. I want people to smell me. Well, you don't have to worry about that with Camp Camaro Ohm Intense. Final thoughts on Camaro Ohm Intense in the Pandora Sense line from Paris Corner. I'm blown away by how good this is. This is, like I said, the best Paris Corner fragrance I've ever spent time with, I've ever smelled. This is up there for me. This and the newest Latafa fragrance that I fell in love with, Latafa uh, Body Out Oud Sublime, easily, easily the two best affordable Middle Eastern fragrances, Middle Eastern clones, Harvey, whatever you want to call them. The, the two best I've picked up, the two best I've smelled in a while this year. It, it's the two best pickups of the year. So with that said, I think this is outstanding. That, Like I said, my favorite Paris Corner fragrance, it is a 9.5 out of 10. If you like Dior Homme, if you like the old Iris Dior Homme DNA, this is, this is really, really good, guys. I'm shocked at just how good this actually is. It makes me just want to go back to it over and over and over again. It's an absolute joy and pleasure to wear. Um, I, I don't know in the air how you could tell a difference from this and the real deal. It is that good. The quality is on par. The scent profile is locked down to the vintage formula from what I remember of it. Um, it's just it's outstanding. 9.5 out of 10. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Camaro Ohm Intense and the Pandora Sense line from Paris Corner. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Aroma Concepts, for sending this one my way. I'm so glad to have this. It's so good. I will continue to wear this one. It's getting warmer. It's not gonna have a, I'm not going to have a ton of situations during the day to wear this, but evenings, going to dinner, this is going into the evening rotation for dinner dates because we do that at least three or four times a month, so... Yeah, this is definitely going in the rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback and love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this? Do you agree with me? Is it all that in a bag of chips to you? Was it not for you? Are you not a fan? Just because I'm in love with this scent profile doesn't mean you will be, you know? Uh, but I think they did a great job with this one. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this offering Paris Corner. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Camaro Ohm Intense and you give it a spray now, 
if you like the Dior Online, you have similar taste to me, I can almost guarantee you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.